Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I just want to talk about few terms. Timeouts, retries, backoff, and jitter. Now I came across these terms while studying one of the one of the architecture from the Amazon Builders library actually. And especially an article that was written by Mark Brooker and I'll share you the link. And I just wanted to you know talk about these four things real quick and ask you guys are you using this when you are building your own applications and uh, what's what's your experience so let's talk about those four terms really really quick okay so i think the idea that here that we have like most of the things that we build uh, we build in a client server mode right so if you have a client and then a server pretty much everything in the world all the applications they are they are working on a client server model right your your client it's gonna make a call okay to the server and server is gonna give you some response okay now what happens that when your client this guy is making a call Okay, and your server is not responding. Okay, so there's something wrong with the server. So that is the situation when these timeouts, okay, that come into play. Now, once you make a connection and you are waiting for the response, how long are you going to wait? Okay, that's an interesting question. Okay, are you going to wait for three minutes and then decide? Okay, the server is not responding let's let's not you know let's do something else or are you gonna wait for only say three seconds or even less okay so that is what really is the timeout is okay now with the timeout your retry is going to be a similar concept right so what you really want okay okay fine I try to go to say CNN.com and it's not loading so you go there and retry again okay maybe you are lucky next time next time first time it didn't load but next time maybe it's okay okay second time is okay when you retry it okay now so the retry really allow your clients okay to be able to handle some of the failures that you may have at the server level for example if you know sometimes it's even possible if you are developing an application where all of that retries is happening behind the scene so maybe the first call went there and you have a really small amount of timeout okay you wouldn't even know but the client will make the retry call back to your server and the page might load on the second go right possible now so that's good right but what happens that if the server is in a bad state okay it's in a bad state then we have a problem right then so you have tried it once didn't work you waited say two seconds you tried it again didn't work it again did work and you would just keep on trying and trying and trying and if you think that if there are other clients out there they're also doing the same thing because the server is down right so you are potentially adding a lot of load back onto the server so you can possibly cause more damage right so one thing you can do okay you can use a back off okay so retry with back off so what the back off is gonna do so back off is gonna say okay you retry but you retry every single time you retry you increase the time between the first one and the second one okay so say for the first retry happens after say three seconds or 
a 30 millisecond something like that so the second retry will happen say maybe 60 milliseconds then the third is 120 i'm just giving you some numbers just to give you some example so what you are doing so you are trying to say okay instead of sending because the server is down instead of sending whole bunch of requests from hundreds of clients after right after 30 seconds you are saying okay the first one is not successful probably there might be some something wrong with the server let's give server some time to recover and next retry let's do it at 60 60 millisecond right if you still don't get the server back okay let's give it some more time so you are backing off now even the problem with this backing off concept all of your clients they are actually following the same schedule okay they are all following this schedule that i have just given you the example okay 30 60 120 okay again these are just random number everybody is following so what is going to happen so when their retry happens again the extreme amount of load is going to happen after 30 milliseconds everybody was going to try same cause the problem same at the same time it will overload the server or a possibility that it might then after 60 seconds 60 milliseconds all of the clients there are thousands right they can do it and 126 milliseconds they will do the same so back off is good but it's not helping us and that is where your jitter that can help us so what jitter does the jitter that is j-i-t-t-e-r so the jitter concept adds randomness to the back off calls or retry calls okay so that is going to add the randomness so the retries effectively what will happen they the different clients they will have different back off time different retry time okay so the server hopefully at the end will not be overloaded at the same time okay now there are some other concepts as well and uh, you should read the full paper but i just thought the whole concept is really cool and it's worth talking about for five minutes about the timeouts retries back off and the zeta concept and just ask you guys if you guys have used this in your own application development and what's your thoughts about this process please leave your comment and let me know uh, what you think about this concepts and uh, how you actually implement this in your own application thank you